Good day, everyone. I am Mr. Garth Reed, student ambassador in the University of Technology Jamaica and mathematics teacher in training in the School of Mathematics and Statistics. Today, we'll be looking at a CAPE integrated mathematics question, which is module one of the syllabus, and that is Foundations of Mathematics. And the topic is solving logarithmic equations. All right, so here are our question which says solve for x in the equation log of x plus three divided by the log of x plus one equals two. All right, now it is important to know that these logs are of base 10. Once you don't see the base, you know that it is 10. All right, now to my right, I have a common error that students normally make, all right? in their CAPE examination for integrated math. And they normally tend to write that the logarithm of A divided by the logarithm of B is equal to the logarithm of A minus the logarithm of B. But really and truly, those are not equal, right? That's not equal. Those two results are not equal. But students confuse this rule with the rule down here, all right? Students confuse that with the rule down here, which says the logarithm of A minus the logarithm of B is equal to log of A divided by B. So we divide A by B, all right? Now that is true. That is a true result, all right? So I just wanted to point that out that students normally make um, that error in their exam. So we're given log of X plus three over the log of X plus one equals two. So we're gonna solve this equation now, all right? Now, I don't like the fact that we have a fraction here. So what I'm gonna do is multiply both sides of the equation by the denominator, which is x plus one, all right? Now, when I do that, the, the denominator will cancel out. So I'm gonna multiply by x plus one, all right? So multiplying x plus one, all right? Multiplying x plus one, by the logarithm of x plus three, all right, divided by the log of x plus one, and that is equal to two multiplied by the log of x plus one, all right? So clearly you can see that the logarithm of x plus one will cancel out, leaving me with the logarithm all right, the logarithm of x plus three being equal to two times the logarithm of x plus one. All right, good. Now, I just want to, to remember this rule because this is the rule that I'm going to use now. So recall that n multiplied by the logarithm of a is equal to logarithm of a raised to the power of n. All right, so what I'm gonna do is just carry this two up as a power. So when I do that now, I will get the log of x plus three being equal to the log of x plus one all to the power of two. All right, good. Now, remember our goal is to solve the equation for x. All right, that is our goal. Now there's a log another logarithm rule that I'll be using here which says that if I have the log of A being equal to the log of B, then that implies that A is equal to B, all right? So if you have two logs being equated to each other, it means that the arguments are equal. In other words, what I'm saying is that X plus three is going to be equal to X plus one all squared. All right, good. Now let us expand the right hand side of the equation. So we have x plus three being equal to, if you expand the right hand side, you should get x squared plus two x plus one. All right, now I'm going to just put everything on one side of the equation and make the other side be equal to zero. So I'm gonna keep the x squared and I'm gonna bring over the x, all right, when I bring over the x, I get a negative x, all right? I have the plus one. I'm gonna bring over the three, that will become a negative three. 
and that is equal to zero. All right? Right, so I hope you follow that. All right, just bring everything on one side of the equation and the other side being equal to zero. Okay, let us now simplify. So we have x squared. Now two x minus x will give me a positive x and one minus three will give me a negative three. And that is equal to zero. All right, now we're going to factorize, we're required to factorize this quadratic equation, all right, we'll, we'll try to factorize the quadratic on the left-hand side in order to get the values for x. So just to refresh your memory on the factorization, we have the product, all right? We have the product, which is going to be the coefficient of the x squared term, which is one, multiplied by the constant at the end, negative two, and that is equal to negative two. And I need a sum of one, all right? One is the, the coefficient of the x term here. So yes, we need two numbers. When we multiply them, we get negative two. And when we add them, we get a positive one. Those two numbers are two and negative one. So your factors are going to be x plus two. And the other factor is going to be x minus one, all right? Whenever the coefficient of the x squared term is one, all right, the coefficient of the x squared term is one, we can just write down the factors, all right? If it is not one, you will be required to split the middle term. Okay, and that is equal to zero. Now, if x plus two multiplied by x minus one is equal to zero, it means that either, either x plus two is equal to zero, or x minus one is equal to zero, all right? So I'm just gonna solve these equations now separately. So if x plus two is equal to zero, it means that x will be equal to negative two, just carrying the positive two on the right hand side, all right, it turns out negative. Now I have x minus one being equal to zero. So that means x will be equal to one, just carrying the negative one on the right hand side of the equation, we get a positive one, good. And those are our values for X. But we can't stop there because we need to figure out which one of these values is our solution, all right? Now let's do some observation, all right? Let's do some observation. Now remember, the values that we got was X is equal to negative two or X is equal to one. Now, if you realize when you're plugging negative two into the logarithm here for x, all right, you get three minus two, which you know is one, that is okay. However, if you're, if you're putting ne negative two down here in the denominator, that's negative two plus one, and we know that that is negative one, all right? Now, remember that logarithms are undefined if the value inside the brackets is negative, all right? So let me just write a statement here so that you can remember, all right? So if we have the logarithm, all right, of A, if A is less than zero, all right, then the log of A is undefined, all right? So we can't put in any negative value into the logarithm. So with that being said, the solution for this logarithmic equation is when x is equal to one, all right? So therefore, the solution is x is equal to one, all right? And that is the solution for this logarithmic equation. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please ensure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, all right? I am Mr. Garth Reed, student ambassador in the University of Technology Jamaica and mathematics teacher in training in the School of Mathematics 
and statistics. I thank you for joining.